Good morning, everybody. It's July 29th here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, this morning, I'm going to expand the stat. Yeah, expand. I'm going to expand it because uh, it needs expanded. I'm going to extend the spout on our harvester. Um, forage harvester. I call it a chopper. Uh, that's what I grew up calling it. Um, but anyhow, we have a the spout that's on it now is uh, what we where we have it for chopping grass, like our rye or alfalfa. But we don't have alfalfa, alfalfa so it's just rye. Um, I think the length that's on there now would be good enough for an eight row corn head. Um, we have a twelve row corn head, and when you add rows to your corn header, when you, you know, the wider you get, the further away the trucks get. And um, with 30 inch rows, every time you go up two rows, why that's 30 inches further away the truck is from the harvester. So this is the section I'm going to add to it uh, to give it the extra length we need for our 12 row corn head. All right, I'm gonna get started. All right, so I'm up here on top of the harvester. Um, the first step I'm going to do here is take these covers off here where the hydraulic lines and then the uh, cord for the camera is stored. Um, I remove them and, and uh, remove the covers and hook the cord and then take the hydraulic lines apart um, before I take the the spout apart here there's several bolts that holds the spout together so i'll take them out and then we'll remove the end section once everything's taken apart and then we'll slide the extension in place uh, and bolt that fast but all right i'm going to catch some of this on video and get started here Eventually, I'll probably drop a bolt or a nut or a washer. It never fails. It's a lot of hardware to take apart. And then it rolls down the shield that I'm sitting on and lands on top of the engine somewhere or else falls down to the ground. One tool that I really appreciate is the 3 8 impact. It's got plenty of power for these, probably too much really. Uh, but I would not want to have to use a, a ratchet wrench to do all this work. Especially after using one of these, you get kind of used to being spoiled. I guess 15 years ago I didn't know any better. Look at all that rye dirt. It's like the mechanic told me when he took some shielding off. He said, now I know where all your dirty secrets are hiding. All right, so the shielding's off. I don't actually have to add an extra piece of uh, cable for the camera. It's, they already have it all tucked up in there. Um, the hydraulic hoses, I'll actually have to put two hoses sections in to accommodate for the extra distance. And also electrical wires for the lights on the end of the spout. We don't chop any alfalfa, so I really wouldn't need to still have it set up for grass hay, but just in case a neighbor would have issues with the machine, why we leave it ready to go. It hasn't happened yet, but you never know. Always concerned about oil running out the end of these, but there's never a whole lot that comes out. Which is nice, because it doesn't make a mess that way. All 
All right, so the hoses are on hook. I'm going to start taking this apart, but uh, I'm going to leave a few bolts so I don't have to. Otherwise, this thing will fall off without. I won't be ready for it to. Uh, I usually use a skid loader to lift the end of it off. things have happened since I was doing this. I had to eat lunch and also fix something in the freestyle barn. Um, I got the skid loader. I'm hooking it up to the piece I'm taking off. Uh, snugging things up before I take the last few bolts out. So let's try to get this thing done. Alrighty, I'm going to take the last few bolts out and hold my breath. Alrighty, we should be freed up. Now I'm gonna go down to the loader and see if I can wiggle it out of here. Hopefully I don't have to edit the video for any uh, unfortunate events. Okay, I got that part off. Uh, I'm gonna go get another skid loader to put the extension up here and uh, we'll get that fastened on. Okay, so I got the uh, extension on the skid loader bucket here. Um, that's the piece I put in for chopping corn and take out for when we chop small grain or haylage, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so we're gonna get this thing in place. Tell you, it's not that hot today, but the humidity is still bad enough that I'm sweating like a steer and a pen full of in-heat heifers. I guess that's a good analogy. I don't know. Hopefully this skid loader can hold itself up for a little bit. and We're going to have a nice little dinge in the back of the harvester. There's a lot that has to line up. There's angle irons. Or like a angle support that well it is what it is it's an extra support to hold the thing together uh, that has to go well I was gonna say in between the two pieces it actually has two pieces between it so I'm gonna need a little A little bit of help from a pry bar here. Each joint has like, I don't know, 14, each joint has close to 18 bolts on it, I believe. That's not exact, but it's close. All right, so I got it in place and I got to line all the bolt holes up, which takes time as well, so. I'm going to throw it on time lapse here to catch probably most of the rest of it and maybe I'll explain a few things along the way.
so I'm coming down the home stretch here and I realize I'm missing one of my plates that goes over top the seam. I have it land somewhere. I just got to go find it. So I got to shut down for now till I go get it. Um, it's coming together pretty nicely. Each joint has like 18 bolts to go through it. So it's a lot to line up. Uh, but once you get it there, it's just, it's a matter of the patience to get it to that point. But then once you have it there, it's a bunch of hardware to tighten up. So I found the other plate to go over the seam. I had it up where I had the extra sections of hose and, and uh, the electrical wires. So now I'm going to finish button it back up. Probably just gonna shut down for now until I'm ready to put the hoses and wires on because my battery's getting low. All right, I had to go take care of some other stuff somewhere else here before I finished up with this. So back again. Um, I'm going to finish hooking the light wires up. I got the camera wire attached. Uh, there's extra slack I got to get rid of there, but um, I'm going to hook the hydraulic hoses up and then we'll put the, the shields or covers back on the full length there uh, that I put together. Each one of these pieces is somewhat unique to certain parts of the uh, gooseneck because some places the gooseneck, the spout, whatever you want to call it, has a curve to it and others it does not. All right, so we got everything back together, um, got the thing ready for corn. If you remember earlier in the video, it uh, probably, uh, yeah, well, it was five less, it was five feet shorter. So I always think it looks funny when the spout's extended like that. And uh, we got the uh, covers back on all the hydraulic lines and I started it up and nothing leaked, so it's ready to go. You can easily touch it too. Yeah, you can wipe the end of the spout off. And we got the flag back up there as well. So. All right, see ya.